Okay, a uh, video of what I'm doing today. I have the uh, ProMax water jet set up here uh, from Omax. And I have the uh, ProMax software set there, which is the software that operates the water jet. I have the Intellimax software set up there, which is the software that you use to edit your design. Uh, and so the model above is a model I've cut before, that's the Rocky Mountain Elk Hunter, and the model below is a brand new model not yet named. I have my still lined out. Um, I've marked out uh, an area that should fit, and I've ran a dry run. I've set my um, stream deck up here in order to be able to operate the water jet. So right now the water jet is at the end of its path, but it's not quite where it should be as far as path home. So I have a button on here that says return to path home, and I can click that and it'll automatically go through and change that and move it to its path start. It's at its path start, which is good. I've set my height already. Uh, I've, I've ran air through the uh, airline and done a nozzle test this morning. Those are things I definitely recommend every time before you do it. Flipping this down, something I found is that the gauge from uh, Omax that they tell you for setting the height is probably a little close. So I actually raised it a little bit higher than what they suggest. Uh, and I basically just modified the height gauge by wrapping tape around it to give it a little bit of extra thickness. Uh, and also I have moved, I'm, I found that it works best if you move this up. I need to make sure that I secure my material so pressing that down. It doesn't have to be secured at a lot of points, uh, but it probably should be secured more than what I have right there. So I'm gonna add another one of these little handy things that came in the kit that I purchased with it. At the pole there. And then this little thing right here. Slide that down. They basically say if you can't move it with two fingers, it is probably solid. I'm gonna close the lid here, doing this all one-handed. So close the lid. I have my pump set up wirelessly. So I hit that on, I turn that on, and I have a light set up in the other room. You probably can't see it, but when the light's on, I know the pump's on. Uh, plus I can hear it. Because I've already done the dry run and everything, I'm gonna hit the button I have that says begin machining. And then the stream deck will basically go through all the processes, which are there quite a few to get that thing started. It'll go to a first start and it'll start uh, cutting. Now something you can usually tell if there's a problem, if you start seeing the water uh, shooting out from side to side, that means that it's not piercing all the way through and you have a problem. And it's best to catch it on that first hole cut. So this says that this cut will take about 23 minutes in order to cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video I mean, I'll pause the video, I'll come back in, in 23 minutes and show you uh, what the blade looks like. So something out. that I found uh, is that a lot of times this doesn't like to cut like it should. And I found that it's really smart to test after the first holes on your blade to see if it cut all the way through and it didn't. Because if it doesn't cut through those first holes all the way through, it's not going to cut the rest of it. So you have a problem. So the recommendation is to do everything you can to clear the problem. Uh, but make sure you don't move your part and make sure you don't change your path home so you can restart it. I also recommend uh, doing all your holes under size so they can be re-drilled out to the correct size because if you don't and it has any problem at all, it'll make this inside cut really, really rough. To diagnose the problem, I raised uh, this arm up here and I took out the nozzle and looked through it and you can't see, but I can see holding it up to a light that it is clogged. It probably got clogged by water somehow bouncing back up in through it. And so I'm going to try using the air compressor uh, to blast that nozzle out. And then after that, after I do that, I'm going to basically run the water jet over to an open area like this. Be careful not to move my part. And I'm going to make sure I remove the uh, uh, blast line uh, so that no water can get back in there. And I'm going to run a nozzle test to kind of clear all that through. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna run compressed air through this line to make sure that there's nothing backed up in there that's it's not gotten any of the uh, moisture wet. And then I'll return to path home and then I'll try to cut again. 
and hopefully it'll work. Okay, I'm running a nozzle test now after clearing the uh, nozzle. That'll make sure that the nozzle is completely clear. I've, I've uh, cleaned out the uh, rain compressed air through the abrasive line also. This will be a minute long test. I'll let it run that time and then I'll reach try to make I ran the nozzle test. I cleaned out the air line. I returned the path home. So I'm at the same starting point I was before. My material wasn't moved. I'm going to hit begin machining on my stream deck. It's going to go through the thing to start the process. It's going to move over because I, my part didn't move. Um, and I didn't change my path home. It's going to go through and try to cut the same hole. So we'll see if that looked like it. it and it, it faulted out because I hadn't turned my pump back on. So that's, that's something you got to remember to do. So I'm going to hit close. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Return to path home again. Setting up the stream deck for this has been really, really super nice. I'm gonna hit begin machining again. This time I do have the pump on. It's gonna to go to that first hole and it's gonna to try to cut it. It appears to be cutting well, but I'm gonna let it cut its first hole and see. It says this is a 23 minute cut, but I won't make you sit through all of it to see if this first hole goes through. It looks like it's cutting well. It's hard to tell. When I open the lid on this, it'll automatically stop the cut, so I'm going to wait till it's in a travel path. I will put and put that cut, and then I'm going to open the lid. Okay, open the lid before it starts. And looking at the hole, and the hole looks like it cut uh, properly. It also looks like it might have moved slightly on me. I'm not sure. If it did, it's because the part moved. Uh, so I think everything's okay though. I did the hole undersized. And so I'm gonna stop this and then I'll come back later after it's cut and let you know how it did. Okay, so it's been 23 minutes later and the parts are cut out. Not 23 minutes since I first started trying, because as you recall, I had issues I had to redeal with. And like I mentioned before, I apparently moved the uh, material a little bit whenever I uh, restarted it. So the holes on uh, this Rocky Mountain Elk Hunter are slightly um, off. There's basically two little holes. I think that's okay uh, because um, it just means that I'll have to uh, drill the holes out for this uh, through the block using this. So basically I'll have to enlarge this and then go that into the block of the handle. Uh, and it creates an extra hassle. I wish it wouldn't have done it, uh, but by the time I'm done, I'll have perfect holes uh, for the, the quarter inch holes that I use for doing the removable handle scales. This one looks like the handle scales came out perfectly. Let's see if it pops out. So this one, uh, which is a completely brand new model, um, it looks like it came out really good. I'm, I'm really uh, happy with, with this. Uh, so, but you do wanna make sure that you leave yourself plenty of room to clean up the edge because it does leave a little bit of a rough edge. And I definitely recommend doing the holes a little bit too small so you can re-drill them and then ring them to where you want it to be. Uh, but overall, I am happy that I have the Protomax, uh, but I have had a lot of issues uh, like this with it so it, it's definitely not as nice as i'd like it to be but overall i am happy with it